Good morning, everybody. Vasilis Duresis for NakedTrader.com. After a relatively quiet start to the week, we saw the American markets yesterday react to Obama's victory. The Dow Jones feeling the wrath of his election victory as it came down over 300 points to trade almost 2.5% lower yesterday. And this was really the markets reacting to the fact that uh, going forward now we could see a lot more government spending. It was reported that he could cut spending in as many as 1,000 uh, government-related programs and also we would possibly see an increase in taxes. So, um, interesting enough, even though the Dow Jones did sell off quite harshly yesterday, the VIX did not really spike to the upside, um, so not really big movements. It was a gradual sell-off yesterday, which to me also indicates that we could have been just a technical sell-off to come back down to levels. As we can see on the Dow Jones on the daily graph in front of us here, we have that horizontal support at around right about 12,900. Uh, closed just above that yesterday, 12,932. I still feel that it could possibly come down and retest the 12900 before we see a bounce. As we can see on the daily relative strength is oversold. Um, and if I line it up with the weekly graph, we can see that uh, long term uptrend that we spoke about before going back to 2009. It's uh, just above that level over there now. So I wouldn't be surprised to see the Dow Jones come to retest at 12.9 before bouncing higher. I feel that the sell-off was a little bit overdone yesterday. And uh, as a result, I think we could see a bounce in the short term. The other graph that also reacted quite nicely was gold. We saw gold spike up about $40 or so on the news of Obama's victory. Uh, we did say that we were buyers and would start dabbling at around about the 1670 and 1680 mark. Uh, for those traders who did take our short-term punt, it would have been up quite nicely. We saw the gold price uh, bounce all the way back up to its uh, moving day average. I think going forward, I think our next target from here would be about 17.40, 17.45 to the upside. And should it continue to break higher, I think the gold price will then possibly go and retest the psychological 1800 in the new year. On the local front, we uh, had Bolo World, which came out with their earnings. Bolo World has been in a downward channel, as we can see on the graph over here, going back from uh, March, April, clear downward channel. Yesterday, however, it did come out with very good results, and uh, we saw Bolo World close above 74 Rand. So, as we can see on the graph here, 74.24 was the close. This looks like a potential breakout. If we look at the RSI, uh, still has legs to go, not nearly overbought yet, so uh, we could see it short term moving up to its moving average, target of about 80, 81 Rand, and then moving on to about 85 or 86 Rand in the short term should this breakout hold. Another graph that is also looking interesting in the retail sector is Trueworths. Um, again, nice little upward channel, three little rising bottoms, closed above its uh, moving average day, its 40 day simple moving average. Um, again, target on this one, about 104 first stop, and should it break and continue to go higher, we're looking at a target price of about 106. This is Vasilis Gerasis for NakedTrader.com.